technology is making our homes smarter. Yeah, but smarter doesn't necessarily mean safer. As Nick Monticelli shows us, not all smart home technology is created equal. Alexa, lights on. There's no doubt smart home technology and smart home automation can both make life a little easier. I mean, it's awesome. Controlling the lights, controlling even your sink or your stove, it's awesome. But it does come with the risks of most of these things aren't designed to be secure. Chris Burns is the owner of Techie Gurus. He specializes in internet security. As you heard, he says all of this tech is fun, but it can make your personal data vulnerable at the same time because some of the smart devices welcome hackers into your home. They're designed to be easy for consumers. So you're on the risk of somebody getting access to it and maybe stealing information. The first problem, he says, is using cheap knockoff smart home items with little to no security. So a lot of them use apps. So they have to communicate back to a central server. And most of the time, those servers for the really cheap knockoff ones are going to be in China. That's especially true for cheap security cameras. And most of the camera feeds are unencrypted, which means if I get anywhere on your network, I can just... I can basically just look at the camera feed and just record it and just take it off your network and keep a copy of it. The first solution is to buy name brand items or from trusted retailers so the data doesn't leave the U.S. Second, do not connect things to the internet that don't need to be, like an external storage device. Some of those will automatically connect to the internet and they will open a, a port, they will basically open a connection through your router automatically and expose your router to the internet. The problem with that is, is that means that somebody from the outside can see that device. Chris also says to turn on automatic updates. So if the manufacturer finds a security flaw, it'll be fixed in the next update. But the most important step you can take is to separate these devices from your personal data on your computers. How do you do that? Well, most new routers now come with two different networks, one for you at home and one for your guests. Chris suggests putting all of your smart devices, your TVs, Alexas, Google Homes, light bulbs, door locks, etc., put all of those on the guest network. Then keep the devices with sensitive data on your home network, computers, tablets, phones, and so on. Without getting too technical, there's a wall in between those networks. So if a hacker does get in through a smart device, Devices with your personal data are better protected. If they are exposed, sure, they'll get to the other devices, but there's, there's a really good chance that it's really hard to jump from that into like where your other devices are. So like your computers, your laptops, you know, things like that. Unfortunately, many of the routers internet providers give you don't have that feature. So you might want to consider buying one for yourself. And if you're not too concerned with this because you don't think a hacker in a basement is going to target you, think again. Most attacks are automated with supercomputers just searching the world for vulnerable devices, giving them access to your network and then your information. So do a few simple things now to avoid a costly headache like identity theft later. Take your time, do your research before you put it in your home and you'll, you'll keep your data and your family safer. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.